The last of the most common of these sub-object polygon commands I want to share with you is welding. And that's combining vertices and collapsing adjacent edges. Sometimes when you build a model, you will split the model apart, either intentionally or unintentionally. And you may not even know that there are gaps in the model because the adjacent edges are coincident. In this version of the lampshade, I've done that. I've intentionally split the model into two separate elements. And you can't always tell that that's the case. As I orbit around here, I don't really know that's happening unless I look really, really closely. You might be able to see that there's a line here. And that's because it's actually two pieces that are just sitting right next to each other. And that might be okay, or it might not. If you're trying to create a texture on that surface, then you're gonna have major issues here because the texture will never be able to go across that border. Let's investigate this, I'll select it, go and do element sub-object mode, and we can see that in fact they are two entirely separate elements, even though they're just directly adjacent. And I can move that out just so you can see it, two separate pieces. All right, I'll undo that with Control Z. We can fix this really easily combine all of those adjacent edges and vertices and make it back into a single seamless element. And that's done with the weld command. Welding is best done with vertices. Let's go into vertex subobject mode. And let's look at this in an orthographic view. I'll go out to our front viewport here. And when I look at this, I can't even really see which of these edges are duplicates. There are a bunch of duplicate edges and vertices here, but I can't visually tell where they are. But that's okay because I can just select everything here in that general area. And the vertices and edges that are not coincident or not duplicate, the weld command won't do anything to them. So we don't need to worry about it. I'll just select everything there. And then we'll go into the weld tool. It's on the ribbon here. And we need to go into the caddy for that. So hold down the shift key and click on weld and the caddy will open up. And the default distance or threshold for welding is 0.1 inches. And that's actually a good value in this case. It's doing just what I want, but it's hard to tell that that's working because we have no visual indicator on the screen. However, the caddy provides the information we need. It's telling us that before the weld operation that we're previewing, there were 1,472 vertices. After this operation is completed, there will be 1,408 vertices. We're reducing the number of vertices because we're welding some of the adjacent ones. Cool. Now we can increase or decrease the threshold here to see what it does. If I bring this upward, then we have some problems because any vertices that are closer together than this distance will get combined or welded. If I set this to a really high threshold value, like five inches or something like that, a lot of the vertices are going to get combined or welded. And if the threshold is too low, then little or nothing is going to get welded. If I set this down to let's say 0 0.001 inches, press enter, we're still getting some welding here because these guys are actually coincident, but if I bring it down all the way to zero, press enter, then nothing is getting welded. All right, so the default value of 0.1 inches was actually a pretty good value, and it looks clean. We might wanna check on this in the other viewports before we commit. I'll right-click in the view so I don't lose my selection and hit Alt-W and go out to the perspective view and examine this. And as I orbit around, I'm still seeing that little seam there but I'm not seeing it as badly as I did before. And I think it's actually going to be fine. We can smooth that over once it's been welded. So I'll go ahead and execute that, click the checkbox. And now once it's done, actually now it's perfectly smooth. We can exit out of vertex mode. We've now restored this back to a single object and a single element. We can verify that in element mode. It's one big element now. That's how the weld command works. And that concludes the chapter on sub-object polygon editing.